You know, in today's world, wearing body armor is becoming more and more of a good idea. But who's going to wear a tactical vest with armor plates or ceramic plates? I mean, it's not practical, plus it just looks crazy uh, going to work like this. But something like this that offers ballistic protection, yet you can use for everyday task, and it just really blends in, this is the way to go. So we're going to take a look at the Santan Gear Exec Pro Armor Bag. So not only is this just a great looking bag, I mean, you can take this anywhere. It's just got a great look to it. Made from a thousand denier Kadura, so it's really good and tough. Nice YKK zippers. Uh, you have a front pouch right here. And of course you can keep documents, different things, passports. Right here up front, have a sunglass case. Fastex buckle, it just kind of keeps this closed. You can pop this open really quick. It's got the Santan Gear logo right here. Have another compartment nice and deep fits this whole area underneath then you have a sleeve inside the sleeve you can keep different papers another sleeve right on the back have a padded cell phone case and this is really nice uh, then you have a couple of places for pins then a very deep sleeve right here and then in the main compartment you have two large YKK zippers it opens up you have three sleeves here you have a padded sleeve in the back and you have a zippered compartment there as well. I mean, just a ton of different configurations. You're really able to organize all your stuff. Then you have a little Velcro keeper right here. And we have a laptop, fits right in. This is a 15 inch laptop. Uh, the panel itself is 12 by 19. So you could probably get a little more, but not too much larger than about a 15 inch. And it has a strap here to be able to pull it out. There's a lot of detail to this bag. I mean, they've really paid attention to the details. And with these padded areas, this is going to really protect your laptop. It does have a padded shoulder strap, nice webbing, it's fully adjustable. The clips, very sturdy. These are reinforced metal with metal clips. Uh, these are D-ring, the plastic, but they hold up well. Here you can see the box edge stitching, and then this is, it's got to be quadruple reinforced. I mean, these things are solid, very heavy, and it's all throughout the bag. And this handle is just over the top. I mean, it's solid rubber. Then you have this strapping that goes all the way through. So you're really going to get a good grip on this bag. But the back is what really sets this bag apart. Right here, you have a really good strap, boxed etch stitching. All the pressure points are double and triple stitched. Have a little tab, pull it. There's a Velcro closure here that holds. And then just bring it down. And here you have two bulletproof panels. The panels are 10 by 15 inches. They are level 3A, which will defeat most of your handgun and shotgun ammunition. So this is going to give you really good protection. Now, with rifle, of course, you're going to need to upgrade that. But typically, in one of these kind of situations, it's usually a handgun or a shotgun. And you're going to have plenty of protection with this. The panels themselves are 270 square inches of protection. That is fantastic. Now, deploying the bag, it's really easy to grab the panels. You can drop it. This gives an overlay effect here. Or... One thing that I like to do is to pull it out and over, and that gives you a little more room between here. Now it is 270 square inches of protection. Having it this way, it could possibly come through, but it's going to take a lot of the impact with this. Bringing it down this way, it's going to really give a good deflection. And then being able to slip your hand through here and hold it up, this is an excellent way to carry this. During the shooting demonstration, I was carrying it with the handle. And that can be kind of dangerous because again, if your hand gets hit, you've lost the bag. So really utilizing this, of course, for quick deployment, it's really great to have something you can just grab and put in front of you and oncoming rounds. And another area that's really cool is right here, this zippered compartment. This is where your panel is, but then it reveals a ambidextrous holster. And this is Velcroed in. You're able to pull your firearm out really quickly. Uh, you can have it in your bag zipped up. You can access it here if you don't want to carry it on your body. So that's just another feature, or it can be used as a backup. Also, they include a small little light here. You can tap it once, and it's just a small little light. Tap it twice, and it's a strobe. And one of the things that they recommend is that if you're ever in an active shooter situation, you call 911, have this thing strobed on your bag. You can say, look, I'm the guy with the strobe on my bag. Pretty cool little feature. You can use this protection in the front. You don't even have to deploy the panels. You can have protection this way or you can slide it around your back 
as you're leaving the area. So it, there's just a lot of different options with the Exec Pro bag. One thing too is this is a great home defense bag. Uh, this can be used you know, in a home invasion situation. Having this bag by your bed, picking it up, carrying it. There's just a ton of different uses. We're using the HK VP9 with 124 grain jacketed hollow points from HPR. We're gonna shoot two rounds. All right, next we're gonna shoot the target with a Glock 23 with a rowbar finish on the top end and we're using HPR 180 grain jacketed hollow points. Let's see what kind of results we get here. Next, we're gonna shoot the pistol with a Springfield Armory Compact 45 with HPR 230 grain jacketed hollow points. Rock Island Armory 10 millimeter. We're using HPR uh, 180 grain uh, jacketed hollow points. You can see where the 10 millimeter definitely bulged it out right here. No exit holes, all eight rounds. You know, the thing that always impresses me the most about the 10 millimeter is just the, the energy that it delivers through the vest compared to your nine millimeters or your 45s or your 40s. When, when you look at the, the indention here with a 10 millimeter compared to everything else, the 10 millimeter is just, it is an absolute man stopper. Yeah, and I don't, you can't really tell, I'm sure, from the camera, but this is a pretty large indention here. Yep. 45s here. The 40 wasn't too bad either. Yeah, the 40, the 40 does a, a really good job as well. The 9mm still did good indentions here. Um, you know, it's not going to go through, but you're going to have to be careful uh, with it uh, against your body. So, but still, it's better than being shot through. Wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Now, here's the panel after we've shot it. Of course, in the back, there are no exit holes anywhere. Of course, in the front, <laughs> you can see that it's taken multiple rounds. And while the NIJ is a very reputable institution, I don't take anybody's word for my self-protection. We're going to go ahead and just cut this panel open, cut the cover. You can see it is a quilted panel. Here's a couple of bullets. This looks like a 45. This is probably a 40 caliber. It's stuck right here. Mushroomed out very nicely. Lots of rounds fired into this one panel. Here we have 45, 10 millimeter, 40, 9 millimeter. Uh, you can see that they didn't expand all the way. And, I, and part of the reason for that is it caught a lot of the fabric, the quilted fabric. In fact, you can really see it with this 9mm. The fabric just jammed up in it and kept it from really going crazy. Uh, this one, though, <laughs> that's pretty wild right there. Looks like it was hit by another round, possibly. But all of these were contained. All eight rounds that we shot into this one panel were contained inside. And that is going to keep it. Now, I'll tell you one thing, and I'm just going to give you a fair warning. If you are ever shot with one of these panels next to your body, uh, it is going to do some damage. It's going to go and hit. Uh, it's going to cause some shock. But it's definitely going to be better than taking a round through the chest. And uh, I think that even with the two panels together, you're really going to get a lot more extra protection. But of course, you have lesser of an area that it is protecting. Here you can see that there were no exit points on the panel itself. There are some areas that are bowed out a little bit. Here we can see where the rounds went. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have all eight rounds accounted for, and then through here. Now, one of the things when I opened this up, a lot of them migrated to the bottom of the uh, panel and then just floated underneath because none of them actually went through this area, this quilted area. Every one of them were stopped. So to be honest, this panel actually could be used again if needed. And I want to thank my good friend Robbie Wheaton for helping me out with the test uh, from WheatonArms.com does a lot of great custom work, a good buddy of mine. We do a lot of shooting, and he he's very willing to help me on a lot of these projects. So check out Wheaton Arms.
Now the bag is very nondescript. It's really gray man, which you, know, you can blend in easily. It looks like it fits into any kind of environment. Uh, whether you're dressing really nice, I mean the bag is super high quality. So you don't even know the difference. Plus, these plates are so lightweight that really you can carry this without any trouble. And with the added protection of what these plates give, uh, it's worth a little extra weight. And Santan Gear also produces other ballistic and other type products. You can go to their website at santangear.com. Uh, a lot of different things. They do sell just the panels themselves. The bag here retails for $449. Uh, that's with the two panels and the quality bag. Right now on the website, they are running a special for $399. So an exceptional value for those. Whether you're an executive, whether it's for home defense, if it's a college student, high school, having these panels in there could really mean the difference between life and death in a tough situation. And again, not only save your life, but maybe those around you. Santan Gear is veteran owned. Uh, there's a lot of law enforcement guys also that, with history that work there. So these guys really take protection seriously and self-defense. Santan Gear, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Right here on the front, we have a sunglass case. Okay, dead gum it. And one of the things I really, okay. now the bag is very gray man. Now the vet, it's a small business. They're doing a great job. And the good thing is after an active shooter situation, throw it over your shoulder, go back to work. <laughs> yeah, right. Guys, to keep this republic, the good guys have got to win.